Hey guys, what's up? This is DeathJester587 again, the average Asian gamer. We've got some more Space Marine gameplay for you today, and today we're playing some Dreadnought Assault on Dome Mechanicus. So first, right off the bat, as you can see, I'm using the Plasma Cannon, although I raged about it a little bit in my last video, I thought maybe I was being a little too harsh, so I would go ahead and try it out. Uh, if you didn't watch the last video, I was talking about how the splash damage on the Plasma Cannon is a bit big. Um, it has a wide radius and it does a hell of a lot of damage. One fully charged shark can kill uh, anyone in the game, basically. So here, not too good there. Taken out by a guy with Bolter. Here we go, I'm on the control board Cappy, and we have some incoming sniper fire from another head with a LAS cannon, so I just shoot a little charge shot over there, and boom goes the dynamite. That is my first kill with the plasma cannon. And, you know, it takes a while to charge up, which makes it well, here this is a little weird, a little graphical glitch there. But yeah, the charge up time on it, um, I guess, kind of negates the overpoweredness of it. But safe to say, it's just not my style of play, not my favorite weapon in the game, especially for the uh, heavy class. So I switched over to assault. So the rest of this video is going to be me just opening it up as an assault, Got some nice kill streaks and stuff. But let's talk about the dreadnought assault game type. So dreadnought assault starts. It's kind of like uh, Arena from Team Fortress 2 mixed in with a domination game type. So once the match starts, a neutral capture point appears in the center of the map, and that is the Dreadnought control point. So whichever team captures that gets the Dreadnought. Uh, one of their players is transformed into the Dreadnought, as you can see there, stomping around. Uh, the Dreadnought has unlimited ammo for its long-range weapon. Uh, it's an assault cannon for... The Space Marines and Cast Space Marines have a uh, auto cannon, but you have unlimited ammo with that. You just have to reload it every once in a while. They also have a Power Fist or Power Claw, which uh, does a lot of damage but has a uh, slow firing time. Uh, so whichever team gets the Dreadnought, um, new other points will appear on the map, and you have to capture those points. And it's first to twenty. Uh, so your regular Space Marines can capture it, but having the Dreadnought there makes you capture faster. And also, I mean, just having the Dreadnought there makes defense on the point a little easier. The opposing team gets three points for destroying the Dreadnought, and then the neutral point will come up again and they can try and capture it. So, my thoughts... This is the game type in Space Marine that you'll find most people playing. Um, I've only played a couple Domination games, but I've played a lot of the Dreadnought Assault, and it's very fun if your team gets the Dreadnought first. Um, people have a hard time kind of ganging up on the Dreadnought to try and take it down. I know I'm guilty of this. I'll try and charge in by myself, do as much damage, uh, especially if I'm an Assault class. Um, but a lot of people just kind of rush in one by one and get killed by the Dreadnought or its allies which kind of sucks. Um, the thing about the Dreadnought is it has shields and health. The shields go down pretty quickly, but the health actually regenerates. Uh, I believe if you have more ra uh, ranged squad mates around you, your health can regenerate back up to full. So if you just travel around with an entourage the whole time, you will basically have invulnerability unless you get spammed by Meltas or Plasma Cannons. So, the Dreadnought health is a little OP, I think. I think it should regenerate up to a point, uh, kind of like in fighting games where you can regenerate up to a certain point, but if you keep taking damage, you can't regenerate as much. So, I think that would really help. So here we go, this last little clip here. Dreadnought control point has been activated. Our Dreadnought was destroyed. As you can see, it is 18 to 3 right now. Other team got 3 points. And I charge in here, and I notice there's 3 space marines there, but... It seems like they're not really capping the point, and then I realize, wait a sec, the point is actually up top, there's a little above area here, so you'll see me jump up here with, with uh, some of my teammates, there's the point up top, the other team is all downstairs, not getting anything, just kind of standing around what's happening, and here we go, we get the Dreadnought, and yep, that's right, yours truly becomes the Dreadnought for the last control point, so here I go, stomping around, and let me tell you, being the Dreadnought is extremely fun. Um, you are slow, but you have a ton of weaponry, and it's just awesome. 
uh, exactly like you feel as a Space Marine, you, that weight, as a Dreadnought, you definitely feel like you weigh 20 tons and you can just rip up anything you want. So yeah, unfortunately I only got to be the Dreadnought for a little bit, but you'll see that I tear it up with the auto cannon on this last point. And yeah, there we go, killstreak 4. Uh, as you were watching the video, you saw me get a killstreak of 5 in the regular gameplay. So yeah, that's all for this time. Thanks for watching, guys, and let's check out the scoreboard here. Not too bad, second place 21-6. and six. Thanks, guys.